Okay, so we have a little bit of uh, straw here that looks like it's just going to end up getting plowed back into the uh, plowed back into the field. But let's take a look here. Twenty-six bales. We had twenty-six bales of straw that we managed to get out of this field. That is honestly pretty substantial with the yield that we had of uh, of the field to have twenty-six bales come out. Uh, I think that's roughly, see, these are 7,500 liter bales, 26. It's about 100 and, 100 and 9, 194,000? No, hold on, hold on, hold on, maths. Yeah, hold on, let me grab my, <laughs> my calculator. 7,500, 195. Oh, look, I was actually pretty close. Oh, okay, look at me. You go, buddy. <laughs> all right. Um. So we have a few things that we're gonna need to do. One, we need to collect all these bales up, and uh, and two, we need to see about the work that's gonna need to be done to this field to get this field for replanting, this field ready for replanting. Um. All right. So I'm gonna need to clear all these bales off first, and then, uh, the field needs to be plowed. So if we actually take a look, uh, it says, you know, it's got weeds growing. It needs plowing. Uh, pH value is not great. So I'm going to need to spread pH. I'm going to need to spread lime on it. So I think my order of operation here is that I'm going to need something to spread lime. Uh, so I'm going to need to be able to spread lime on the field. And then I will probably go ahead and subsoil the field. And that will take care of the plowing. And then I'm not sure what I'll be doing after that. Um, maybe letting it sit for a month. Let's take a look at our planting schedule here. September, I can plant wheat again. Okay. So. All right. All right. So nitrogen values is, is pretty much nil. So I'm wondering... If I lime it, if I subsoil it, and then I plant it with oilseed radish, I'll be able to grind the oilseed radish in. Uh, I'll be able to grind the oilseed radish in while I plant. Actually, I don't even have to worry about that because uh, I do have a direct drill um, cedar, do I not? Wrong button. Uh, I do. I have a direct drill cedar. So I can plant my oilseed radish, but I'm going to have to plow anyway. So no previous cultivating or plowing, but this is, this does need to be plowed. Yeah. Okay. Just to be on the safe side, I'm going to go ahead and plow that field. All right, let's take this. So um, this actually doesn't use as much of the netting as I thought it was going to. We did 26 bales, and we still have 67% of uh, of our of, of netting left, and there's still like two two sheets of net wrapping. So that's actually not bad. I'm gonna run this down here to where our uh, our setup is. I should be able to pull that with this tractor. 150 should be good enough. I'll check real quick. But I am going to have to get a plow. So let's check that real fast, huh? Bail loader. 130, yeah, okay. Absolutely fine. Just put, 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 put use, put work on these. Put work on the small tools. No need to work the big hard tools. We can just put some time on this little guy here. It's going to burn less fuel. It's okay. This little guy is going to be getting a lot of work, though. That is for, for certain. He will be getting a lot of work in the fields. Actually, that is something I should look at doing is having the um, Pro Compact system put onto it. All right. Let's get this out there into that field. And uh, that's basically just, you know, for precision farming to make sure that I'm actually getting, uh, I'm getting everything that I need off the field. You know what I'm saying? So uh, right now, because if we put the, okay, so if I fertilize, so if I mulch it, 
lime it, plow it, fertilize it. But if I'm going to plant oilseed radish, that's green fertilizer. And then I'll do a secondary fertilization after uh, the, the plants start to grow. Okay, okay, okay. I've got ideas. I have ideas in my little noodle box. We're figuring it out. I am going to have to come back because I'm not going to be able to get all these. Now, the question is, is will I be able to store these in my, like, little bale storage, hay storage um, thing over here? Or am I going to have to use one of the uh, mods and have a little hay, hay storage thing? Because I think that said that was a hay loft that I had back there, but I'm not sure. I looked at a couple different maps before starting this one, and it could have been from a different map <laughs> that I'm getting myself uh, bamboozled, confused with here. <laughs> so, well, let's just kind of keep gra grabbing stuff, though. Grabbing, grabbing, grabbing. Yeah. So I will need to use this vehicle because this vehicle is the one that's got my skinny tires. So I need to look for something that I'm going to be able to pull to fertilize with. I'm also going to need something I can... I'm also going to need something that will be able to spot spray. Uh, spot spraying weeds. So in order to get the best environmental score, uh, spot spraying is going to be my best bet of things to do but it is also going to be my most expensive conversely i could work this field with a mechanical uh weeder right like with a physical weeder that's going to like physically pull the weeds that'll work but i'm not going to get my best environmental score running that but cost effective wise that might have to be the route that i take just because I know that a sprayer is not going to be cheap. And let's actually, real quick, we could even take a look at uh, said sprayer that is designed, that has spot spray technology. Uh, so if we pop up into here, stuff. Um, so we have these weeders here. And looking at the most, most of these, you know, pretty low price, um, chop stars, is a hoe so that's like when you have like mid-level weeds we have a few things here on the premium expansion six five now look at these. these are nice and cheap um you're a little more expensive 95 for a 12 meter oh my goodness two what oh this is a hoe that would be why oh my this is absolutely massive um I'd be able to do like this whole field in like a pass. <laughs> um, that's a big, big money, big money spend. A big expenditure there. Um, oh, this is nice. This will actually pull weeds as well as plant oilseed radish, um, canola, and grass. Little strange, little strange, but okay. Um, now like this pneumatic start here, like this would be perfect. Uh, nine work nine, nine nine meters of working width is great and it's 18k so i mean here's physical this is only going to give us 20 out of a possible 30 points but if we get a sprayer um this john deere this was added by the precision farming mod so this has got c and spray technology which is incredibly expensive so this thing is ninety one thousand dollars the 24 meter working with 24 meters would really honestly be the all, all that i would need um and i would put narrow tires on here so this is literally only good for spraying weed spot spraying i don't think we have so this is it's got herbicide but it can also do liquid liquid fertilizer i'm really confused it looks like it Harvest output of the field. So yeah, it looks like so it looks like it could. The well, question is, do you have sea and spray? I don't think you guys do. You know, no, no, none of those are gonna happen. Premium expansion. We'll set up narrow tires. No, no sea and spray. Yeah. So yeah, there's no sea and spray for these. This has weed spot spraying on it. But yeah, so it would have to be this guy right here. But I would also be able to do liquid fertilizer. 
this might be one of the first things that I do least own on. Hmm. Okay. But anyway, I mean, super expensive, super expensive to do. So. But uh, very necessary, right? I mean, oh boy, we are chug a lugging. Uh, it's just been very necessary because, well, I mean, 10 points isn't a massive difference. I might just go the cheaper option first. But I am still going to need to have to have a way to fertilize the soil regardless. And so I will still need something to fertilize this soil with. I don't have anything at the present moment that I, I don't have any sort of a fertilizer at the present moment that I could use. I could try to use like a solid fertilizer, but that is still going to be me having to drive through the field. So, uh, fertilizer spreader. Yeah, even the cheapest of this. Oh, wow. What the heck? This thing is massive. 42 meter row area. What? That is huge. Not a whole lot of storage. That's huge. Uh, I might check that out, actually. I might try leasing that to see if I like it. Um, wow, okay, 32, hmm, that would be able to do pretty much this whole field, I think. That might be the play. So, between that and then, like, just a, um, a manual, like a, like a physical weeder, we should be good. So, I need to plow this field. I need to lime this field first so i need to lime it then i need to plow it then i can plant it i'm gonna hold off on rolling it even though rolling it would also help my score just because i just don't have i just don't have money i mean i guess i could hunt around to try to find one more of these little uh game cartridges uh because that would give me 25k but i still don't have enough money you know what i'm saying so um let's lift that bale that bale loader arm. Okay, so that off there in the far left, that far left building, that should be my, my hayloft? I thought so. Um, let's kind of roll up on it. Man, that, okay, these deer are just everywhere. God, I wish it was like this for me last deer season. I only saw like four deer and I didn't manage to to dispatch any of them. Hayloft. Silo is empty. So I do unload here. Okay, cool. So here is the hayloft. We will unload our hay here. Alright. Um, hayloft. Hayloft. Hay hayloft. Did I unload on the wrong side? Did I unload on the wrong side? I maybe. Uh, let me just test something. Okay, this isn't hay, this is straw. But will it not take the straw? Will you take my straw, please? No. All right, so this building is useless to me. All right, that's fine. I've got a plan. Okay, hey, hey calm down, calm down. I'm going to sell this building. <laughs> and we're going to buy. Yeah, this. Um, yeah, that's fine. Sell. Yeah, goodbye. Okay. And uh, we're going to put down a silo here that will allow me to store. So these are one of these E tunnels, reinforced arc tunnels here. This one will hold 176 pieces. That I'm like kind of nice and centered on this, right? Yeah, that's good. There we go. Cool. Um, so. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Haha. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, so I'm just gonna kind of try to push. There we go. Hey, so now look, we got our hay storage. That's great. 
So, yeah, that that's awesome. I'm going to do... No wonder if it'll let my cows be out in this. Oh, it's going to let my cows pasture out there. Oh, that's awesome. All right. So now we have good hay storage here. Or hay straw, silage. It'll all go there. So that'll be great. So I think... I was thinking, hey, what if we got cows? But uh, I... Or not cows, but I was thinking, hey, what if we got chickens? Because I have wheat. And I'm just like, eh. But now I'm just thinking to myself, hey, if we got cows, cows are also going to give us manure as a byproduct and we actually need manure to use our fruits greenhouse which allows us to grow lemons orange pineapples and apples and if we take a look at sales for these things um which i actually haven't done uh lemons sell uh for 790 at the peak 790 at the peak um 452 at the peak and 1200 or yeah roughly 1100 dollars um oh pineapple pizza oh no oh why bad <laughs> um so yeah if we take a look at those things so uh, logistics yeah production chains pineapple needs eight water and eight manure to make four pineapples Four and four makes four. Four and four makes four. Four and two makes four. So the pineapples are the high, the top paying, but they are also the most um, demanding for resources. But I think pineapples will probably be the way that we go. So that will be a nice use of our manure. It'd be to keep that topped up to be able to grow some pineapples and make a little bit of money on the side from, from doing that. We put this down. It almost feels like a waste just to grab two, but it's fine. Okay. All right. Um, as much as I'd like to try to keep this episode short, I feel like I have kind of rambled about a lot of stuff. So I think what I'll probably do, I know I still need a mow grass. I still need a mow grass, but that grass will still be there next month. I want to make sure I get this field taken care of because I also have all my corn harvest to do and everything. So I'm going to focus on getting that field taken care of. And then we will move into uh, grass if we still have a pretty substantial amount of daylight left. All right. So um, I do want to try to hunt for one more game cartridge as well. If I could find one more game cartridge, that would give me uh, some money. Obviously, the carts are 50000 uh, but I would only take 20, 25,000 of it. I would only use half because it is a little uh, excessive, in my opinion, the amount of money you get. Uh, whoop, there we go. Nice. Okay, so 26 total bales of straw out of that field. That's awesome. Uh, that straw is going to be super useful for a lot of things bedding for the cows uh so we can get slurry and manure um also being mixed for total mixed rations uh all that kind of jizzity jayas uh, actually that sounds a little gross when you say it like that um <laughs> good job all right uh i am going to drop this off here now here we go with you sit here and the real question is, is, what am I going to do? Who am I going to take? All right, I'm going to have to figure out how exactly I want to go about this. But regardless, I am going to have to subsoil, which means I'm probably going to need to take my 7R series tractor to go pick up a subsoiler. So I will get these things figured out, and then I will get back with you guys momentarily. All right, so we ended up buying this subsoiler not the biggest one uh, obviously uh this is just as wide as the pack of our uh tractor but uh 130 horsepower so we could use our nice small boy here he's gonna be a real workhorse on the field i would have loved to have been able to got this much larger one but one uh 68,000. we just don't have that and two we need 435 horsepower we're pushing just a little over 300 with our 7r just wasn't going to happen. It would have been nice, though, because it would have been double the working with, but that's okay. We are still going to get this done. 
Oh, you know what? I probably should have limed first. Ooh, okay, hold on. See, this is what happens. Start jumping the gun. I get the wrong piece of equipment. So, let's go back. Let's grab the, uh, the lime spreader and some lime. And then we will come back here and start doing this because I need uh, I need to work on the soil's pH levels because they're not that stellar. Well, hold on. Let's get to the end of this. Let's see. Let's see. Hmm. Let's see what comes up when we hit the end of the floor. So we are, by the way, using our guidance steering mod, aka uh, we're just going to refer to it as Green Star. We did buy the additional Green Star uh, attachment system for here, which is a, I believe, a proprietary GPS system for the John Deere tractors. Although I could be wrong, uh, in real life, the only John Deere tractor, the only tractor that I've ever driven was a John Deere tractor, and it did in fact have a uh, Green Star as its navigational system. Let's go ahead and power this down real fast. So the pH value is saying it's good to okay. Um, how are you doing? Okay, so this is plowed. This texture looks really good. Um, this is loamy sand. We never did really take a look, did we? Um, soil informations. Okay, so field 10. This is mostly loam. So this is good. Um, field 10, when, when we have... Uh, we should actually get really good... Okay, pH isn't looking terrible across the board. It's mid. It's mid. Um, so it's not the best. Nitrogen, though, is terrible. So we do need to fix that. Uh, our yield is not looking great. Uh, but it's, it's decent back through here. So this area is always going to be a point of contention. Uh, just with the yield. But back through here, this actually isn't terrible. Um... It all looks like it's uh, low low seed rate, though. Oh, I'm really wondering how this is. We've already you know, we spent a good bit of money on this. Mostly in fuel and vehicle maintenance costs, as well as getting our soil samples done. I don't see us making a whole lot of money on this field. <laughs> not this, not this time around. But we are going to get this uh, this this 45 up. Our environmental score here, nitrogen, pH, weed control. Um, so these are all okay. They're not terrible. Not great. Uh, the overall actually is not 45, but 49. So I will take that. I will take that. Okay. So, and then what we're going to do. So we, we can see this as a total. What I think we're going to do is I'm going to reset these values. And then we'll see uh, just how much we're spending when it comes to all of the the work and everything to get this field ready so we can see this here we'll say four thousand dollars and i'm going to reset these values and we will start from uh scratch so i don't think i think what i'm going to do is i'm not going to worry about liming this time around i think what i'll do is i will plow all this do I, I need to plow it? That's the thing. It says it needs plowing. So I'll plow this field, and then I'll come back with my seeder and seed this field with the oilseed radish. And then next month, we'll just grind everything in uh, and reseed wheat. So I'm just going to go ahead and get this field taken care of, and then we will be, uh, we'll be back. We'll be back. Uh, get the field taken care of. We'll be back, and we'll, we'll go from there. So we are... We're done with subsoiling that, and uh, I checked the contracts, and over here at field three, we actually have a nice cultivating contract. It's only going to take me about a half an hour to do, and it's going to pay out 14k since I'm using my own equipment. So real quick, I am just staging my uh, cultivator down here, and I'm going to come back and plant the oilseed radish, come down here and cultivate, and that'll give us a little bit of a nest egg of money. Uh, well, it'll give us another 14k, so it'll give us a little bit more of a cushion just in case anything decent comes up for sale in the sales tab. The only other thing I thought of, the only other thing I thought of, once we get over here to area three or field three, I'll, uh, I'll show you guys. But there is a cultivator in the sales shop right now. It is slightly smaller than this one, 
by like 0.1 meters. And if I were to tr trade this one in, I would I get a pretty good chunk of money. I, I would end up making like 40k. Whoa, dear. What are you guys doing? Okay, so here we are. This is the field that I need to cultivate right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and plop this guy down right here. So if I were to sell this, I would get roughly... Uh, Oh yeah, because it has a little bit of wear on it now. It's been it's been driven. It was it was sitting at a flat seventy k. So if I were to sell this, I'd get roughly seventy k. As we can see, this has a working area of eight point four meters. Uh, here's this horse uh, Joker Eight RT, and this is eight point two. So it's point two meters difference. But this could also hold seed for planting oilseed radish down in between. Um, so, and that actually doesn't take the money up too much. In fact, it doesn't take it up at all, because I can put the cedar unit and slurry distributor on here for free. So that is, uh, an attachment that I can add on here for free. And this will give me 400 liters of seed storage. Uh, and allow me also to connect this to a slurry distributor in the future. Uh, if I would like to go that route. The only difference is, is that my current one is a 320 horsepower requirement. This is a 330 horsepower requirement. And my tractor, its top capabilities is like 305 horsepower. So I'm probably not going to get that full 11 miles an hour. But you know what? Like that, the difference of money is kind of worth doing. So this is going to be 33K for me to get this. I'm going to go ahead and buy it. I'm going to take this other one back since it's literally just around the corner. And I'm going to sell this. Pro tip, if you did not know this about uh, the game, is that if you take your stuff, your tractors, your, your, your attachments, accessories, whatever, if you take it back to the store, you actually get paid out a little bit more cash than if you were to just sell it from the menu. So you just saw that that was like 69, you know, whatever. If I pull up over here to the sales point, I'm in there, I pull in, we hop out of the tractor. We can now see that I'm going to get paid 76, 995 for this. I'll pay the $1 in repairs. And there we go. So I, you know, I basically I get my dollar back. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and sell that. So that's awesome. So now we've got 88 instead of like the 44 that we had. Now I do wonder. Let's put a little repair on this tractor. So I have the 305 engine in here. For 13k, I can up it to 332. And that is going to give me basically everything that I'm looking for. Like that. The other thing that I need to do with this, I don't want the EU design, I want the US design, please. Um, I do have a three-point attachment. I don't have GPS on here. This is going to be another 15K charge. But on a big tractor like this, where I'll be working it in some of my bigger fields, I feel like having the GPS on here is probably going to be worth my time. Most of my vehicles I try to put GPS into. So I spend 28K. So really out of everything that just happened... I didn't make a ton of money. Um, okay, yeah, so I made like 20k off of everything that just transpired. But, 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 I now have a significantly stronger engine that is going to be able to do what I require of it. So let's go ahead and grab this. And now I have no issues with pulling any of my equipment. All of my equipment is now uh, very manageable by this tractor i could even feel the little bit of a difference in the get up and go i know that it's still the same speed but uh it's just like the the rate in which it moves is significantly faster like the like how would it you know the time that it takes for it to achieve top speed feels faster all right cool so we'll bring this over here this is great i will be able to run this through here the only other thing I'm thinking about picking up would be like that little compact piece. 
I don't know. So, what I need also, come down here, we go to, where is it? Precision farming. We have this, this, uh, this Isaria Pro Active. And the nice thing about this is that this will actively, um, like I can use this day or night. Uh, if I put the compact system onto a tractor itself, it can only be used while it is sunny out. It cannot be used at night. But it's also like $8,000 cheaper. And I don't think this tractor in particular is going to be the one that I'm going to be doing any, uh, any of that kind of stuff with. Because you want something with narrow tires so you're not disrupting... You're not, you're not damaging crops, you know, so. All right, let's drive this big guy back. We're going to go get things planted, and then we'll come back here. And I know I wanted to get to grass today, but uh, it's probably going to have to wait until the next episode. It'll still be the same day. Things are going real, real slow today. Today's a slow uh, workup. I only have it on 2x speed. Once we roll into the two-day seasons, I'm either going to change my speed to 3 or 5x I'm not sure which yet, so, but, but yeah, it'll probably be 5x to begin with until I pick up more fields, and then 3x after the fact, like, you know, after I have a, a bunch of fields, either that or I tack a third day on, but I'd rather, I'd rather just do like a two day and like a 3x time span, so, uh, I'm gonna stop rambling, we're gonna come down here, and I am going to, uh, grab the cedar get out here and seed and i guess we'll just kind of time lapse it All right, we just have this little itty bitty strip here left to get. Unfortunately, we just don't have, uh, we're just not wide enough with this direct, uh, with this direct drill to kind of fit perfectly in here. So you can see there's just like a slight off color, just, just to like the, uh, the left of, of, of the wheels here. And that is it. That's all that's left of this for me to get. Oh, and of course I missed just a tiny bit of there. Of course. Of course. That's fine. It'll be okay. 
It'll be all right. But yeah, so we went and got this done. Uh, now the only other thing we're gonna go do is knock out the uh, knock out the cultivating mission, get a little bit more cash in our pocket, and head down to take care uh, next episode of the grass before moving into September and seeing what kind of goodies uh, come our way. I'm kind of hoping that uh, we get something decent in the in the shop. Also, uh, you might have noticed that I did have a little oopsie do where I ran over just a small portion of this field that is right here beside me. I believe it's field nine. And I mean, literally, it was just a tiny portion. I think I got fined like $159. So <clears throat> I'm going to have to be really paying attention uh, with these uh, other fields around me because that was, I mean, I literally just the littlest amount of my treads in there. I am going to leave my uh, my my little cedar over here. Is it a cedar or a planter? I always always goof it up. It is a cedar. Okay, I'm gonna leave the cedar there because we are going to just be using it. <clears throat> uh, you know, once we harvest the, or we're gonna be using it in September when we go to plant the wheat. So. So yeah, we're gonna head out here. We're gonna run this big field, and then uh, then we're gonna I don't know and end the episode. Of course, that makes sense, right? <laughs> oh, it's getting a little late this evening for me, and uh, so yeah, so we're gonna head down here, uh, hook up to our uh, hook up to our cultivator, and run field three. And it says that it's projected it's going to take me like a half an hour to do. So, obviously, we're going to speed that up for you guys. So you don't have to watch all that. So, without further ado, uh, we'll go ahead and get some speed up in here. A little bit of time lapse, shall we? <clears throat> almost done all right so i don't think that the half hour uh guesstimation was correct with this i think it might have been a half an hour for the implement that was on rental but uh i've spent uh, double that <laughs> oh you live and learn right that's okay one day we'll have big big boy equipment actually there was a mod that i downloaded that i completely forgot to install that i might actually look into my own farm. It's not going to help me on cultivating uh, jobs, but, you know, it's okay. 
anyway, yeah, I know that uh, the first couple episodes tend to be pretty slow, and that is mostly just because you're, uh, you know, you drop into the game, and at that point, there's already, you know, crops and everything planted or waiting to get harvested or all that initial startup stuff. But I'm hoping that once we get out of, uh, once we get out and into the next year, we're going to definitely start having a lot more fun content. Really, it's just going to be digging ourselves out of the uh, the brokenness that we're in right now <laughs> uh, so that we can afford maybe a little bit more property to work or uh, be able to afford bringing animals and stuff on. Honestly, for me, I feel like that's my favorite part of this is uh, being able to bring in uh, the cattle and stuff. Mostly predominantly, you'll know if you've watched any of the other uh, videos that I put out like the, the Valley of the Old Farm. I was very excited. My big startup was to get cattle first. I just love having them. Uh, I think on this one, I might even split 50-50 on the cattle. And instead of just getting all dairy cows, which is what I, I normally do, I think I might uh, I might split and also get some beef cattle for sale. Maybe I won't have it be a very large portion of my herd, but uh, maybe like a quarter of my max or something. But this mission is a done. Look at this thing. It is absolutely filthy. All right. Turn off my uh, green star here. We'll get this folded back up. And we can get this mission here completed. It did not take us 29 minutes. It was double that time, but that's fine. We'll go ahead and collect our 14K paycheck on that, which is awesome. There are a couple harvesting missions. Field 28 would be that. It's a canola field. And with a uh, leftover surplus crop, I would actually be getting 14k on it as well. Field 15 to harvest would be terrible because it is parsnips. And the header, just the header size on these is not great. It would take me two hours to do that mission. It would take me 35 minutes to do this mission. So I have to deliver. Oh, I have here. I'd have to deliver sixty-three. Actually, that's not bad. What I really need is a bigger cup. Uh, and to take care of other things. All right. Before this gets too terribly long in the tooth, uh, we are done doing this contract. We're going to go ahead and run our equipment back to the farm. I think I will spend. Uh, like the two grand on the pressure washer just because I don't like putting my equipment away dirty. But yeah, uh, you know, I was looking forward to coming back to doing some YouTube stuff. I've had a lot of things going on in my life lately, in my, my, my private life. Uh, nothing, you know, absolutely terrible, but just, just a lot of stress. And so I'm happy to be able to kind of uh, be working through that in a healthy way. And also uh, playing these games that I enjoy playing. So, uh, yeah, if you are enjoying the content, please consider uh, liking, commenting, subscribing if you haven't already. My goal is to try to hit a 1,000 subscribers this year if possible. And uh, it'd be great if you could help me along with that goal. Literally can't do it without you. Um, Analytics-wise, 85% of the people that will come to my channel and watch content are not subscribed. And if that 85% subscribed i mean i would hit my goal easily easily so all right guys that's all for uh, us here on the uh the good old iowa plains i will catch you guys in the next episode where we will finally get to taking care of all of our grassland work uh until next time take care of yourselves keep on being awesome bunch of dice roll is signing